Um, for Nick, center is going to be where he starts, I'd imagine, um, and really where he shined at Washington. But he has played at, at multiple spots. Um, certainly, I think uh, his lack of height, he's only 6'1", right. um, might have caused some – some people to think that maybe he can't play in multiple spots, but he's done it on the biggest stage. I mean, as a true freshman, he was playing guard against Alabama in the CFP playoffs and holding his own against guys who have gone on to be, you know, productive NFL players. So he's got certainly adds uh, ability and, and depth to the roster. Like you said, you know, just because I played center the last two years, um, you know, I feel comfortable there, but um I also feel comfortable at guard wherever I can get on the field the fastest and, you know, contribute will, will be good for me. Cause I mean, I have those two years playing guard. So, um, you know, anywhere, anywhere I can just start playing football will be good. I see where, where he ends up is going to be a coach decision, but from the perspective of, of the line, it's not a competition about who's taller. It's about a leverage battle. And for Nick, you know, he plays with great leverage. And he's got some natural leverage. And, and he really is a, a tough guy uh, to get around because of his combination of, of leverage and quickness and athleticism. So um, wherever he ends up, you know, I think for him, um, the height is less of an issue. Certainly, he also uh, has length in his arms. So it's not, it's not as if he doesn't have an ability to, to play with extension or um, or leverage. I think he fits that uh, smart, tough, accountable mantra that Kevin and Andrew have been uh, hitting on throughout this process. Um, he's a guy who, who you know, he came in and, and earned his way every step of the way. Um, did not redshirt as a as a freshman. They pulled his redshirt because of how you know they couldn't keep him off the field really. So, um, guy who really worked his way and worked for everything he's got. You know, came in, he was in the 270s um, as a true freshman. He's up in you know, the 300 range now. So he's, he's done a lot throughout the course of his career to improve every step of the way every year. And that's been, I mean, it's been the, the case since I was getting recruited in high school was my height. Um, you know, I, it used to bother me um, back then, but I've learned to embrace it and just, you know, use that to just feel how I play and, you know, keep that chip on my shoulder for sure because, you know, a lot of people don't think I can play at a high level at this height. Um, but, you know, I, it, it helps me play with better leverage. That's all, what I, that's all what I always tell people. I get under guys a little better, um, you know, and I, and I play with, you know, I try and play with sound technique. So um, I, think, I think at the end of the day it helps me. I think, I mean, it starts with just technique. You know, it starts with um, also the mental aspect of the game. I take both of those um, – I take those – pretty serious in how I how I go about playing football and um, also I just it's a will you know I love playing O-line um, and it, I, I like finishing people I'll take pride in what I do so um, you know I, honestly I think it, it helps me I get better leverage under people I have long arms for my height so I think I'll, and at the end of the day it helps me more than it hurts me. Played on a line that had some other highly touted prospects uh, so people have been paying attention to this line for a few years. And um, every game, he makes a play or two, a block or two, where you kind of sit up in your chair and take notice, which is usually, you know, offensive linemen are guys that you're not noticing them unless they do something, you know, wrong in some, in some instances. And he's a guy who he would do things right and, and make you take notice of it.